Hey there, this is your Spider Pan Jeremy, and I'm bringing you yet another game video, but I'm doing something a little different. This is Star Wars Commander, which has been out for a very long time. It's a mobile game. Uh, it is, well, basically a base type of game. You build your base and you attack other bases. But here recently, they have unlocked Rancors, which would part of a defense thing, we can have them attack your own base, but this, they actually gave me some Rancors, and as you see here, I decided to test them out. I just sent three Rancors in, and then using Luke Skywalker with a, a, a medical droid. The standard Rancor, as you saw, died very fast. Here you see a Shadow Rancor and a, a Rage Rancor. The Shadow Rancor doesn't have much range, and he goes down right now. The Rage Rancor it does a double-handed smash, which has a broad area of attack and does, does a lot of significant damage. And uh, so th this was a round I just did, just to see what the Rancors could do and see if I could take out a base using just them. Uh, and as you see right now, most of the fire seems to be aimed at Luke Skywalker over there, who just fell. And now, of course, they're going to take out his droid as the Rancor takes out the base structure itself, even through the shields. Uh, so I was very impressed actually with the Rage Rancor and you can even see there's a bit of every time he smacks There's a bit behind him that is being hit uh, I believe that he is still actually doing some damage to the shields when he's at least close enough to the shield generator But, but this seemed to be a very effective way to go through and take out any defenses uh, Because he can take a quite a bit of damage as he goes along now I haven't figured out exactly how to unlock him completely uh, to where I can put one on my ship anytime that I wish. Uh, and as you see, he finally went down, but did a significant amount of damage. Did about 50% damage just with some Rancors there. And that was even, you know, a rank 2 regular Rancor. Uh, he died quickly. Uh, I did came back a little bit later with a little bit of air support. Not a whole lot. Uh, these Rancors do take up a lot of space, and I was really wanting to just kind of test it out and give them just a little bit of air support to, that I, I basically use to take out a lot of the uh, base weapons. Uh, the X-Wings I got with uh, one of the crates I'd opened that day. They really, these Rancors, they take up a significant amount of your poop ships and your loadouts. So, you know, having a, you know, about three Rancors is about as much as you're going to really be able to carry in one go. Uh, and I, I would think if you're going to do a group of Rancors, definitely send a lot of air support to kind of help take out some of these guns for your Rancors, because they do eventually take them out. I also had a uh, walker that I sent in with them, because I only had two Rancors, and I figured, well, let's fill up the space with something else to walk uh, As you see, the Shadow Rancor has once again gone down first of these two, but the Rage Rancor is still doing significant amounts of damage, and he is focused right now on the enemy headquarters, which I think is going to go down right there. Uh, so yeah, definitely worth the time. I just don't know how I get any, any more of these. I did have a standard Rancor pop up in another crate today, but I don't know, uh, I haven't seen if these are something you can hire in the, uh, uh, as like a mercenary or anything like that, but they're really, really cool. Uh, so uh, this is a nice new feature to the game. Uh, now, the one last thing I do want to show you is, I'm going to rage, let me take a look here. Um, no, that might be a, a Rage Ring or, or a standard, I don't know. This is another one I got, you know, an extra one in a crate. And I thought, well, let me send him in with a full complement of heavy-duty troopers, which I figured I would just file in behind them and let them just do their thing. Uh, a full set of bombers to take out some of the guns. And uh, even a droid, destroyer droid, or a Dredica, whatever you want to call it. Uh, because, of course, the Rebels managed to get a hold of these things somehow. <laughs> and they get, you get to use them in Star Wars Commander. And I sent them all in just to see how much they could do with a Rancor going in and taking most of the fire for them. Uh, I've got Han Solo going in there because he will focus on the uh, the guns. And I really wanted to try to take out the guns to kind of enable the Rancor to do as much damage as possible to the base itself. As well as take out the guns in front of my heavy troopers. Which, as you can see, they did pretty good with staying behind him and just kind of taking out some features of the base. So overall, this was going pretty well, and then my Rancor went down. <laughs> and so now it's up to a droid to keep my heavies alive. Han Solo managed to uh, do some significant damage. Got a couple of heavies that kind of stayed on a, a different side. But we have at least taken out the main headquarters. Uh, if we can get it to 50%. Uh, as you can see, I haven't really gotten to 100% by using these Rancors and everything. Uh, I didn't really invoke a whole lot of st strategy to this. I was just kind of testing it out and having some fun with it. But uh, stay tuned to Neverland Pop.